Hello, today we are going to flip through this lovely journal that I created for my other sister and um, it was hard for me to decide who should have the mermaid one but uh, because I feel like they're both kind of like mermaids in a way they're very just uh, special they are both they love the beach we were brought up in the beach um, I'm a mermaid as well you know uh, at least in my own imagination and anyway just thought that you would enjoy this perhaps I know I do and uh, I like watching other people's work so anyway just like the, the journal that I did for my other sister I um, I created or put together this image uh, probably as part of a collage it is a collage of, of different elements uh, images that I found in different areas this is not scrapbook paper uh, I believe I used um, newspaper colored newspaper of all things uh, and then you know just did a finish on there I love this um, charm that I made. I think it's very, very cool. And again, like the other journal, I have to dedicate this book to her, so I'll write here. And uh, so, yeah, I made this into a pocket, right? And uh, actually, this paper was interesting to. Uh, Glue. I mean, it was almost impossible. I, I had to end up using 6,000 to glue it better because um, even the tacky glue wasn't working. Even even the hot glue gun wasn't working. Okay, that that's how resistant that was. But anyway, uh, put the trim, which I love this lace, and uh, the other one had the red lace, and this one. You know, the funny thing is, I've had this lace for a little while, and the red lace, and I remember looking at those laces and thinking, I'm never going to use them. But, you know, you just never know. You know, if you get any kind of lace, and you do junk journals, it doesn't matter what color they are, just keep it, because you'll be surprised when you will use it. So, yeah, there's that Tim Holtz little hitch post. Love that for my closures. And you know, it goes to the other side, and then you can screw it on tighter if you like. Um, and then you've got some pockets. Love this, uh, like, sea lantern. Again, a collaged image. And um, oops, that, that's got to be glued on again. Um, so then, on the, on the other book, I actually sewed it onto one of the pages. But in this case, you know, this is a little too thick to sew on, even though it's it's that packing uh, envelope from Amazon Prime of all. I love that kind of um, book cover because it's fairly sturdy and, um, and and flexible at the same time. So very enjoyable. Anyway, I have to glue, glue this again with hot glue poly or even uh, Aileen's. So love that image magazine image on that doily. Scrapbook paper. Love it. Put uh, the stitching around it. Love this scrapbook paper. I did combine the scrapbook pages with different, uh, they're just different ones. They're not just one collection. Uh, it, you know, it, it's a couple, probably two, two or three collections kind of mixed in. So this is an interesting little piece of uh, art that is a mixed media piece there that I uh, sewed to the back of, of this piece of the image, which, you know, I love this. Um, I think it's really cool magazine cutout. Um, I love also how, sorry, I'm able to, you know, clip that on. <clears throat> and just gives it more interest. Uh, I make this paper um, 
look this way through different processes. So it's an interesting paper. Um, and then this is a decorative paper that uh, tea dyed and, and then kind of worked on it as well. This is a little, it's supposed to be a little flipping about, um, but I haven't adhered it yet. So I might even just leave it like that so she could put it wherever she wants. Uh, this is from a 1950s book. Uh, and then, you know, it's a page folded over. So the other side will show some more sea life. So very cool. I like this page. Uh, this is a playing card and I used it as an embellishment for this pocket and I added uh, another little pocket within the pocket and it's, uh, it's just a little card that you can put a little picture, a little note, whatever. I just thought it went really cool with this and then this feather is uh, from Galveston Beach. Uh, one of the little birdies there lost it and I found it. Um, so I love this jewelry, this vase. Um, I believe it's in an art gallery or something and um, anyway I thought it, it looked like a treasure type for the mermaid book. Uh, this is a vellum kind of sheet, uh, or, yeah, I think it is vellum, and uh, you can't see it in the camera too much, but you can almost see it here a little bit, the uh, music paper on the other side of this here, and uh, so then, yeah, I distressed and, and uh, just kind of rough cut these pages to make it look really cool and distressed, um, and then this says, you can share or shake the sand from your shoes, but it will never leave your soul. And uh, that reminds me of my husband because we live about two hours from the beach and he is a beach bum. We, we are, we'll, we're all beach bums uh, in this family. Except my son, interestingly, that's another story. Anyway, tea dyed paper and uh, I made these stamps myself uh, Tammy Brackett inspired me to do that. She makes her own stamps uh, out of egg carton, the one that's a styrofoam. And so I, I used, I think we had some, I don't usually use styrofoam if I can avoid it, but we had some uh, plates for some reason. And so uh, we just had like a couple of them. So I used those for making stamps. So. There you go. Um, and that's a turtle, obviously. I hope you can tell. And then, you know, this is a sea star and whatever. So this is a scrapbook paper. Uh, this is like a little mermaid stamp that I then just did a lot of stuff process this paper. I tea dyed it first, then I put color, then I inked it, then I stamped it, and then I went back and kind of inked it some more. So it's a very subtle mermaid tail. The other side is a little more noticeable, but I, I just thought that was cool. And then there's that paper again that I love. I love black and white uh, bubbles in this case. And another sea image like a beach house and uh, some advertisements I leave because I, I like what they're saying artful living that's a beautiful thought so I left that uh, and then this is like a marble stone uh, piece and it kind of, I felt like the solid rock uh, was a good music paper to go with that um, and then you know a contrast of the jellyfish I don't know but anyway, this is like a pearlized finish on this paper, text paper, old paper from an old book. And uh, so then here, this is uh, tea dyed, but I, I, this is the one I lay down on a piece of metal 
that has decorative, uh, you know, pieces in it, kind of like a stencil. And I love the way it kind of left the swirls and twirls. And so then I, uh, on top of that, I kind of inked it a little bit. Uh, so it looks almost embossed. So anyway. Um, so yeah, I love this crab. This is from that book again, Tea Dyed. And yeah, this paper is lovely. Uh, this is a beautiful book about uh, boats and ships mainly. So these are lanterns that you, you might find uh, in a ship. And so, you know, the old kind of ships. Um, and then some more of those pages that are from like an old science book, I think is what it was, like a 1950s. Uh, and those are copies because I kept the originals. I couldn't, I, I know I'm going to use that again, so I made I made copies. So then this is the center of the signature and it's got this gorgeous paper uh, which this image is already on that paper and um, I love this little dangly charm. Uh, I had one that had a black background. This one is like a clear background with a little eyeball. Sweet. Looks like a little octopus eyeball and then you know, appropriate, a little pearl, a green pearl to go with my mermaid here. And uh, so yeah, more lanterns, uh, the other side of those pages with the sea life. Uh, love that scrapbook paper. That's a different collection. Um, and then some tags with, with some pretty uh, yarn, it's like a gold yarn, and it's just a collaged uh, piece of uh, artwork there, a little tag, or a big tag rather. So here I, I uh, you know, I did those stamps again, the jellyfish, and then I, 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 mo I put a pearlized Mod Podge on that because I, I don't know why, I just did not like it. So there we are. Then this is the next page, uh, which I love so much because, uh, again, I uh, had the stamping the, that I made and then uh, the playing card for hearts and little pocket and uh, that this is like a little just a heart piece there. Love that. Um, this is a paper that's really heavy duty, very thick, almost like watercolor paper, but, but it's uh, actually an old poster that I folded over uh, several times, so it's very nice. And uh, there's the bubbles again, black and white, uh, another tag, a little map tag. And uh, there's that distressed looking paper, love that. There's that other side. The tail is a lot more, you can totally see the tail there of uh, the mermaid. Um, and then this is, a, this is that little turtle again and the little sea star. Um, and there we are again with some scrapbook paper, tags, journaling cards, and yeah, the texture on this is awesome because I put ge a clear gesso on that, so it's really nice and rough. And I didn't do that to these, these are just really soft and flimsy, the regular paper. But uh, I like them that way. So, there we go. So yeah, this is just the other side. Uh, we've been already going through the other side of the matter here. So, uh, again, there's a little pocket in here that uh, if she wants to put something in there, like another little tag she can. These are some tags again that I made uh, myself with, you know, with uh, little stencil-like homemade stencils on that. And then this is a, a Tim Holtz stencil, not, not my own stencil. Um, but yeah, I like the way this, this map paper type came out. Uh, and then this octopus image is fabulous. So I love that. And that's it, guys. 
Here's a mermaid with uh, 